My lords and ladies of the Landsmeet, Tyrn Loghain would have us give up our freedoms, our traditions, out of fear. He placed us on this path, yet we should place our destiny in his hands? Must we sacrifice everything good about our nation to save it? A fine performance, Eamon. <laughs> but no one here is taken in by it. You would attempt to put a puppet on the throne, and every soul here knows it. The better question is who will pull the strings. Ah! Here we have the puppeteer. Tell us, Warden, how will the Orlesians take our nation from us? Will they deign to send their troops, or simply issue their commands through this would-be prince? What do they offer you? How much is the price of Ferelden honor now? Some of us are curious, Loghain, about precisely what happened at Ostagar. So? One of Kalen's killers would dare speak of betrayal. You led our king to his death with your grandiose tales of griffins flying into battle. Please, continue. The Landsmeet hungers to hear the tactical analysis of Ostagar from a peasant. You goaded him into making that charge. He believed the tales, Warden. He thought your handful of men would turn the tide for him. Strategy and consequences be hanged. What would you have me do? Kalen's was not the only life in my hands. Should I have sacrificed the entire army for his mistake? Do not imagine that you can shame me with Kalen's death. He was Marik's son. My king! No one regrets his loss more than I do. Indeed, do we not owe it to Marik to see his son on the throne? If he were a true son of Merrick, I would not hesitate to swear fealty to him. But I see nothing of Merrick in this pup. But enough of this. I have a question for you, Warden. What have you done with my daughter? You took my daughter, our queen, by force. Killing her guards in the process. What arts have you employed to keep her? Does she even still live? I believe I can speak for myself. <gasps> Lords and ladies of Ferelden, hear me. This warden has slandered and defamed Ferelden's greatest hero in a bid to put an imposter on Merrick's throne. Did he? Are you certain of that? I know my father. He would never do less than his utmost for the sake of his country. But I needed to know your mind, Warden. You could have proven yourself an ally of Ferelden. It is unfortunate for all of us that you did not. Who here can say that Anora is not fit to rule this land? And who can say that this Alistair is? We know nothing of him, save that he may have royal blood. For five years, Anora has been queen, and proven herself worthy of the Theron name. She can lead our people through this crisis, and I can lead her armies. My lords and ladies, our land has been threatened before. It's been invaded and lost and won times beyond counting. We Ferelden's have proven that we will never truly be conquered so long as we are united. We must not let ourselves be divided now. Stand with me, and we shall defeat even the Blight itself! Southreach stands with the Grey Wardens. Waking Sea stands with the Grey Warden. Dragon's Peak supports the Warden. Western Hills is with you, Loghain. Make her help us. 
I stand by Logain. We've no hope of victory otherwise. I'm with Logain. Who else could defeat the Blight? Logain, I'm with you. This bodes ill for us all. <clears throat> the Landsmeet has spoken. Following these Grey Wardens has cost us our king. We must not allow it to cost us our country. I charge Eamon, Alistair, and this Warden with treason. Take these traitors outside to await execution. To arms! We will not be taken without a fight! <coughs> Fort Ferelden! We'll have order. Agreed. Let there be no further bloodshed in the lands meet. Alistair's claim is challenged. In the days before King Callanhad, such claims were settled by duels. Alistair against Logate. Will the lands meet agree? Yes, if it will avoid further bloodshed. But it must be fought according to tradition, by strength of arms only, in single combat until one party yields. Do you accept the terms? It is you or me the men will follow. So, let us fight for it. Prepare yourself! Estimated you, Warden. I thought you were like Kaelin, a child wanting to play at war. I was wrong. There's a strength in you that I have not seen anywhere since Marek died. I yield. Wait, there is another option. Patean is a warrior and general of renown. Let him be of use. Let him go through the joining. There are too few of us. It's not a matter of what we like, it's a matter of what we must do. Our duty is to slay the Archdemon. We aren't judges. Kinslayers, blood mages, traitors, rebels, carter thugs, common bandits. Anyone with the skill and the metal to take up the sword against the Darkspawn is welcome among us. There are three of us in all of Ferelden, and there are compelling reasons to have as many Wardens on hand as possible to deal with the Archdemon. The joining itself is often fatal, is it not? If he survives, you gain a general. If not, you have your revenge. Doesn't that satisfy you? Absolutely not! Riordan, 
This man abandoned our brothers and then blamed us for the deed. He hunted us down like animals. He tortured you. How can we simply forget that? You can't do this. My father may have been wrong, but he is still a hero to the people. Honora, Hush. It's over. Stop treating me like a child. This is serious. Daughters never grow up, Honora. They remain six years old with pigtails and skinned knees forever. Father. Just make it quick, Warden. I can face the Maker knowing that Ferelden is in your hands. I will. I owe that to Duncan. So it is decided. Alistair will take his father's throne. Wait, what? No! When did this get decided? Nobody's decided that. Have they? He refuses the throne. Everyone here has heard him. I think it's clear then. He abdicates in favor of me. I hardly think you're the appropriate person to mediate this, Sonora. Warden, will you help us? Strange. I feel like I'm back at the Abbey, trying not to get chosen last for the sparring teams. Are there people who are ready for that sort of thing? But I guess if it comes down to it, I'll do my best. Mm. Oh, I think my stomach just twisted up in a knot or something. As the arbiter of this dispute, what is your decision? Who will leave for Elden? This is where I wake up, usually. Where everyone points and laughs because I have no clothes on. Honora, the Landsmeet has decided against you. You must now swear fealty to our king, and relinquish all claim to the throne for yourself and your heirs. If you think I will swear that oath, Eamon, you know nothing of me. Reason clearly had nothing to do with your choice, Warden. We cannot leave Ferelden in a state of civil war. We must have unity. If she will not swear fealty to you, Alistair, and renounce her claim to the throne, she is a threat to us all. What do you want me to do exactly? Kill her? I can't do that. I guess... Put her in the tower for now. Lock her up. Maybe we can find somewhere to send her. Later. Thank you, Alistair. You show me mercy that I would not have shown you. Very well then. Guards, take her away. Your Highness, would you address the Landsmeet? Oh, uh, that will be me, right? Um, <clears throat> I never knew him, but from all I've heard of my father, what defined him was his commitment to protecting this land. Maker's breath. When the blight is over, I'll come back to take up my duties, whatever they are, as king. Until then, I think Al Eamon will have to be my regent. Then I can do Merrick's memory no less honor than you do. I accept. And may the Maker bless your efforts against the Darkspawn. My fellow Grey Warden will, I hope, take Loghain's place as the leader of my armies. Shall we finish this thing together? Everyone, get ready to march! It's going to take all of Ferelden's strength to survive this blight. 
but we will face it, and we'll defeat it! We'd better get going. Ferelden is depending on us. You made me king. After all this is over with, they're actually going to put me on the throne. I'm still... I'm going to be the king. Congratulations. Congratulations? Why would you do this to me? How could you? I've done nothing but regret my blood since the day I was born. I don't want this. I never wanted this. I hate the very idea of it. I knew that Arlima wanted this for me, but I never did. I thought for sure that there would be a way out of it. But then you went and put me on the throne yourself. Why? Yes, well, no. She would have executed me, so that would have been bad. I've just never thought of myself as a leader. I'm going to make a terrible king, you have to know that. How can I make decisions that are going to affect the lives of everyone in the kingdom? I guess I don't really have a choice in this now, do I? I'll do my best, of course, and I expect that you'll be there to help me, right? Good. Then it's settled. Al Eamon has left for Redcliffe. He says the army has gathered there and is almost ready to march. As soon as we're ready, we should head to Redcliffe ourselves. The blight awaits, right?